Hi everyone, Josh here, and today we have a quick question about unzipping files in Windows, and today we're dealing with a specific error, and that is Windows cannot complete the extraction, typically because it can't create the file or the folder. Okay, so this error is basically one that comes down to permissions. Basically, Windows, for whatever reason, doesn't think that you have permission to unzip this file, and that could be uh, permissions for the file itself, or it could be permissions with the folder, uh, or even at the account level. So we're gonna run through a list of possible solutions. We're gonna start with the quickest and easiest ones first. We're gonna work our way down to the ones that are less likely to help you and are a little bit more time consuming. So hopefully your problem can get fixed as soon as possible. And be sure to let us know in the comments which of these solutions helped you so that other people in the community will know what to check first. Now, this is one of those problems that I do recommend that you go ahead and restart your computer first, make sure that you're logged into the correct Windows account, and go ahead and make sure that Windows is completely updated just so we can cross those items off the list. If those things are done, let's go ahead and jump into the first solution. Okay, so I'm just jumping into File Explorer here and uh, I'm just in my C drive right here and I put a few files in here so that you could see. Uh, let's just assume that we're having an issue with this LOL minor zip file and that we right click it and we try to extract it and we get an error. Okay, what does the error look like? Like this, uh, you know, your compressed zipped folder uh, has an error. Windows cannot complete the extraction. The destination file could not be created. Okay, so that's what the error looks like. Now, what are we gonna do about it? First, we want to right click on the file itself. We're gonna go down until we see properties. We're gonna click it. Now, we first we wanna make sure that uh, read only is not checked. That's one thing that we wanna make sure is unchecked. So if it has a check mark, undo it. We also wanna make sure it's not blocked, okay? So this file came from another computer and might be blocked to help protect. Now, again, if this is a file, like make sure you know what this is. If it's something sketchy, you know, maybe it's blocked for a reason, but if you know that it's safe, if it's a driver from NVIDIA or something like that, go ahead and check unblock, and that's one thing you can do. Uh, hit apply. Now, we also wanna go into advanced, and we wanna make sure that this little checkbox here is not checked, encrypt contents to secure data. Make sure that that is not checked, okay? And then we're gonna uh, check the security tab. And I mentioned before that you need to be logged into the correct user account in Windows. And that just means don't be in like a guest account. Okay, because if you're in a guest account or something, you may not have the correct privileges or security privileges necessary to actually unzip the file or do some of the work in uh, File Explorer here. Uh, I'll just assume that you are logged into either the administrator account or a top level account, but do you know kind of look through here and make sure that uh, everything looks like it's correct. You, should, you can see here under allow that we should be able to modify, read and execute, read and write under the account level that you are in. So if you're an administrator, you should be able to do everything. Don't worry about special permissions. Now, Let's do that and then see if your file is able to be extracted, go through the same process again, extract it, okay. In this case, you know, I don't have any issues here. So it is extracting the file for me. Now, if that doesn't work, uh, it's kind of in the same solution, we're gonna go in and actually check uh, the permissions for uh, whatever folder that this file happens to be located in, just like we did for the file itself. In this case, I've moved uh, the file, the zip file into just the root of the C drive. So you can see here the C drive, I'm gonna right click on it, go to properties, and I'm gonna check the same security area and just look at those uh, permissions as well. This is probably not the case uh, that it's the, your problem, but I do wanna mention it that you can check here as well. Okay, now the second thing that we can try um, is we wanna make sure that this is not a, a virus or threat issue. So I mentioned before about making sure that it is unblocked here. Uh, and uh, you know, when I initially saw that little warning here, that should probably uh, fix the issue if this is a, an issue with the file, if this is an issue with the file registering as a threat or a virus. Uh, but we'll just go ahead and go into settings and then we're gonna go into update and security and we're gonna to go to uh, Windows Security here, and then we're gonna go into Virus and Threat, threat Protection. Now, uh, you can see here I have no current threats. If this file uh, was to show up on this list, then that would be uh, something that we need to fix because Windows is probably not gonna let you extract the file. Uh, it would show up here and you would simply uh, select it and then you would allow it. Um, uh, and again, making sure that you know what this file is and that it's not something that would actually hurt your computer. Uh, full disclaimer there. Now, 
The, uh, the third thing that we're going to check is the system drive uh, uh, for errors. Okay, so going back here, um, and again, you know, check and make sure, see if the file works after you check those things. Um, if it doesn't work, uh, you're going to actually right click on the drive itself. You're going to go into properties and then you're going to come back in here and you're going to go to tools and you're going to see error checking. And it says that this option will check the drive for file system errors. Uh, you can see the administrator shield. That means you do need to be an administrator to run this check. Uh, when I click this button, it actually tells me I don't need to scan the drive. Uh, if it didn't already find an error, it will tell you this. Now you can go ahead and scan it anyway. Uh, just be warned that it does take a little while. Yeah, so it's going to you know, potentially take eight or nine or 10 minutes. So uh, run this uh, if you want to. Uh, if it doesn't find an error though, I would maybe skip it and come back to it uh, just in the interest of time, okay? Okay, so the fourth thing we can do is actually use a third-party piece of software rather than the one that's built into Windows File Explorer. Uh, one of my favorites is 7-Zip. Uh, it's been around forever. It's 7-Zip.org, and I'll put the link in the description. Uh, very uh, basic tool. Like I said, been around for years. I mean, look at the website. Um, you're just going to download that. Uh, just one note, making sure that you... Uh, are getting the correct version, either the 64-bit or the 32-bit version for your Windows uh, version. Get that downloaded, uh, get it installed. So what's gonna happen is when you go back into that file and you right-click it, you'll see a new option. You're just gonna right-click and then you're going to uh, look and see that you have Extract All, that's the built-in option, or you can go down to 7-Zip. Uh, you're going to select Extract Files. Um, once you do that, it's going to ask you, you know, where you want it, the path and all that kind of stuff. We're going to go ahead and ha uh, say OK. Uh, we've already done this once, so we're going to go ahead and um, just let it do it again. And you can see uh, it allowed us to unzip it, and here it is right here. OK? And honestly, I would recommend that you probably have something like 7-Zip installed on your computer anyway, just because it's a little bit more powerful uh, than the built-in Windows option. And it's going to allow you to extract a few different uh, types of zip files and other um, uh, compressed files as well. Okay. Now the uh, fifth option, and if you've made it this far, you know, there may be some other issue here at play. Uh, and we're going to go through a couple of technical ones now, uh, just in case this, uh, the other solutions haven't done it for you. So what we're going to do is we're going to actually uh, open the start bar. We're going to search for command prompt. We're going to uh, actually click run as administrator so that we can open that as an administrator. Uh, click yes. Now, once we're here and we're in Windows System 32, you're going to uh, put, uh, we're going to run this command, uh, SFC space front slash scan now. And I'll put these commands in the description, so don't worry. We're going to uh, go ahead and hit enter. It'll say that the process will take some time. And you can see here that it is scanning the system 9%, 10% and uh, give this a couple of minutes to complete and see what the results look like. Okay, we can see that it has completed and it says Windows Resource Protection did not find any integrity violations, so that's good. Uh, if for whatever reason you do have an issue on your end, it will give you further instructions. Okay, if that doesn't uh, give you any success, then we'll actually go back like I mentioned before and we're gonna go ahead and go back into our drive properties and we can go into the tools and then do the error checking on the drive. Again, I just circled back to it at the end because it does take a while, so you may want to wait and kind of do all the other stuff first. Now, if you are still having problems, uh, there are a couple other things we can do. Hopefully at this point you are not watching the video. If you are, okay, there are a couple of other things we can do. Okay, we're going to go into the Windows uh, search bar and we're going to type boot. And then we're going to go into system configuration right here. Uh, you can run as an administrator and then you can see here we're under normal startup. Uh, what you may want to do is actually go to selective startup and uh, you'll want to uncheck startup items, load startup items. You want to uncheck that and hit apply. And then when you go over to uh, services, uh, you're going to hide all Microsoft services, which are these sort of essential Windows related services. And then you're going to actually hit disable all. And what these two things will do, and then you'll hit apply, and then you'll hit OK, and then you'll restart your computer. Now, what this is going to do is basically just make sure that 
when you restart your computer, Windows is not loading anything else except for Windows stuff, and you'll have what's known as a clean boot. Uh, once you've done that, you can try to extract the file again, and you can go from there. I uh, probably won't need to do this option. Um, while you're in here, it might be a good idea to kind of see what is loading up with your Windows uh, install. But uh, one of these options should have fixed it for you. Hopefully it did. If this video fixed your problem and you made it this far, please let us know in the comments which uh, of the steps actually helped you and fixed your problem. And if the video helped you, please consider liking it and it'll help support the channel and help me continue to create videos just like this to help you with your tech related questions. Thanks for watching the video.